Oh, Dana, you're an expert on toxicity. Can you just talk about the, the biggest source, maybe, of environmental toxicity that, that, that we face? Well, I mean, there are um, a wide variety of environmental toxicants that um, reside in the environment that are there uh, for long periods of times, but probably the legacy chemicals, the pesticides and um, polychlorinated biphenyls and mm -hmm. flame retardants that actually stay in the environment for a long time are the ones that are most harmful. Um, I certainly think pesticides would be mm. the highest on that list because they're the one class of chemicals that are specifically designed to be lethal. They're toxic by design. Sure. You talk about they, that they, they stay around. How long do these chemicals exist? I mean, are there chemicals from the 40s and 50s that are still actively circulating out there today? Absolutely. Um, the chemicals that are in use today are designed to be less environmentally persistent, but we do have what we call legacy chemicals and chemicals that were used 30, 40, 50 years ago that, in, that persist environmentally. So that, for example, my daughter, who was 11 years old and was born after many, of the, you know, many, many years after these chemicals were used, still mm -hmm. has residues of these chemicals in her body. How long do they stay in our body? Then? Uh, and, again, and, and it depends on the chemical. Some of them okay. have half-lives of um, 10, 15 years. And we really don't have a good mechanism for eliminating from them from our body unless we're a lactating woman. And we can eliminate them through best breast milk, but then our, our babes get them. So that was my next question. There, is there an efficient or healthy way to, to, to kind of speed up the process? Um, not really, not really. Uh, Some of these you just have to wait and let them uh, metabolize and break down in their time. Or, as I mentioned, um, if you're a lactating woman, then mm -hmm. you can eliminate them from your body.